Hey YouTube, this is FC Buga, and with me today I have Blade Triple O Fourteen. I'm playing Team Deathmatch on Bootleg, and we narrowly get the win. Me and my teammates, we struggled out, struggled throughout most of the first half, you know, losing by double digits. There, I would like to point out there was some camping, but it's very forgivable under the circumstances. Yeah, I'm using here the uh, ACR Silence, and that proves better to be known very as helpful. the Gay CR. Shut up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but uh. Uh, my kill streaks are set at 5, 7, 12, predator missile, attack helicopter, and AC-130. I do get attack helicopter three times, but I only get the AC-130 once, and I do get buzz killed a few times. Uh, that double kill definitely was, should not have happened, you know, that guy with the shotgun should have gotten me. I would like to point out that ACOG, um, it's really not very good in this game because it takes up half your screen and it's very slow to look down the site. Yeah, I would also like to say on, you know, the ACOG, that they, it's been really bad ever since Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2, the ACOG was, you know, relatively small and it didn't really take up most of the screen, but, you know, Black Ops, the ACOG was terrible, especially on, you know, Python. They, they put it on a Python, what is <laughs> wrong with that? <laughs> yeah. I would just like to point out, he just walked over Claymore. Yeah, that's because I'm using, uh, Stalker Pro, which helps to uh, you know, avoid those claymores and bouncing betties while yeah, also, there's a lag on the claymores. Yeah, while also, uh, you know, you can aim down the sights and also run at a faster pace too, which does help when you're tracking someone down. You know, as is called stalker. Here I do get my uh, predator missile. I think I believe I get a kill here, so that I do get my attack helicopter. I would also like to point out that the flow of the maps are very bad compared to Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. I think they've, like, the detail is, it, it's very detailed, but they haven't focused on the actual gameplay. Yeah, they need to go back to the roots on these games. I do think they did, I think they did a good job with uh, bootleg, you know, I don't like it that much. Oh, that much. was horrible. I, I, the knifing also. Yeah, the knifing, they messed up on that, but back to, uh, oh, the camper, uh, They've all, they've taken a step back from Black Ops. Like they took away the diving and they took away the very good knifing, you know? Yeah, the knifing was pretty good in Black Ops. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, I failed there again for the second time trying to get that guy, but I here's where I needed some more help from my teammates. You know, I, I already got an attack helicopter, I had a predator missile, and we're still only at, you know, fifteen thousand. Points. If you look at the minimap, you can see that his team does not have a general direction. Like, you know, usually in a game, the team has a general direction so they know where the enemy's coming from, but his team's like in the middle of the map, so the enemies are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Team Deathmatch, you really want to keep moving, and you you don't want to stay in the same place, so uh, you want to be consistent with the other team's spawn, meaning, you That's know... That's funny, because you're staying in one place. <laughs> yeah, but you want to, you know... You want to go, move around. Yeah, you want to go to the opposite go to map. The enemy? Sometimes. 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 Huh, you don't always want to go to the enemy. Not always, because sometimes they come to you. Mhm. Mm but uh, team deathmatch, you can kind of uh, predict where the spawn's going to be. It's mostly going to be diagonal from where you are. You know, team deathmatch is not where you see the, uh, you know, the terrible spawns. Usually, usually I will say Modern Warfare 3, they definitely screwed up the spawns in this game. Yeah, some one time I spawned and there was a grenade and I blew up <laughs> right away. It wasn't even funny. We should get that on film. Uh, but if you can tell, my teammates, they, I don't know, they like to stay on the side of the map. And that's really what hurt us because no one went in the center and that's usually where the high traffic is, and especially in bootleg. But, you know, three of the other guys are on the other side of the map. So I would like to point out they are going in the center, but they're dying really fast if they do. Yeah, you always want to, when you're going around corners, you want to always be aiming. Uh, you know, this is a great place in the, in bootleg, you know, by these plants, because you can see through the plants, and you'll always have a first view of anyone going through that tunnel, you know, you'll see them before they see you. And I think I was a one kill away, maybe two kills away from AC-130 there, so, you know, that was a, that was a close one to being a game ender there. Yeah, AC-130 is a classic, classic kill streak. Classic? <laughs> It is very classic. Yeah, it's a very good kill streak, you know. Three. It's fun. It is a fun kill streak too. But if you're getting attacked by AC-130, it's not fun. I don't like Osprey Gunner in this game either. I, I don't think they did a very good job with that. Uh, the view of it's weird when you're in it. Um, 
You know, I think they should have made it more like gunship. You know, gunship in Black Ops was amazing because you could control it and then fire the yeah. fire the I think they have uh, something to a degree of in this game too. Yeah, Osprey. But um, I forgot what it is. Um, but I really don't like the helicopters in this game. There's too many places where you can go inside. The helicopters are almost useless. Yeah, yeah, and especially now that they made the, uh, they did make the Sam turret harder to get by making it an eight kill streak. But uh, see, that's a bad predator missile. But they also made it really easy to get with a support class. You know, you don't have to get four in a row. You can get those eight kill streaks whenever you want, and it won't reset too. So uh, that's a good thing. And also, it's not a care package drop. So you know, you don't have to wait for a kill. A care package to be dropped in order to place it. So that's I'd also like to bonus. point out they're, they're, the death streaks are useless. Yeah, death streaks are useless. A really bad implementation of trying to make the other the opponents, you know, feel rewarded for dying five times in a row. Yeah. I think like, yeah. the Mater Bomb is the only death streak like I would have used. <laughs> I wouldn't use any of them. I, I, like I have it on there, but I, it never gets to that point. Martyrdom's not bad, but uh, I think that I think if anything that should be a perk. Now, I wouldn't mind using martyrdom for a third, a third perk maybe you know instead yeah. of like in um, World at War they had that instead of marksman. But I, I think you like to use marksman, right? Yeah, I like to use marksman because you can you can identify the enemies like really far away, and you can like throw grenades like instantly with, if you have pro. No, that's a quick draw, pro. Quick. Oh my bad. But uh, same thing, you know, all, kill, all perks. But in order to do good in this game, I think it does depend on your perk choice. You know, you don't want to be using you know, bad perks that, you know, don't complement each other. For me, I think uh, sleight of hand and uh, quick draw, they go hand in hand because, you know, you get that quick reload, you get that quick aiming, and you can, uh, you can definitely... Uh, survive a lot longer with that, you know. One of the most useless perks is glass shield. It's like, come on, really? You barely use that, cause yeah. Um, yeah, yeah increased explosive resistance. Um, you know, is a I think the second perk slot that's more important than the third because in the third you can use stalker, which is what I use, which. You know, it allows you to run over those claymores and boxing baddies without getting harmed, and you know that only takes every third spot, which you know the third perk is not very efficient as you know a second or a fir even a first. A first is you know, I, I I I always think of it as being the best. I'm a player who like just runs at the enemy, and um, instead of using um, assassin, I like to use um, quick draw because like you draw your weapon up so fast. Mm -hmm. So like if you're running with um, um what's it called? Uh, light conditioning. Or, oh, extreme conditioning. Extreme conditioning. I don't because like that. I like it. Well, if you're running with a submachine gun and you have it straight up, it's really good. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And like. Yeah, like. That's Thank you. This. <laughs> yeah, yeah I forgot look at this about kill that. cam. It sucks. Oh, that's a good one. You know, like double kill at the end. But uh, final score, I did go 46 and 5. It didn't With one seem assist. Like... One assist. One assist. Because yeah. his teammates, you know, they really kill.